59th one. Don't these get old? They never get old. <laughs> you know, we are, we have a lot of work to do over the next uh, 30 years, 40 years, and having companies like this in the area will really help us to evolve our business. But, but not only that, in creation of the energy cluster, as we are continuing on with our life extension program, It'll enable the economy here in Bruce Gray and Huron counties to, to mature some and benefit some from the economic development that's ongoing. And with the launch of the Nuclear Innovation Institute now, we're hoping to be able to innovate, create new technologies in the area, and set up businesses for the long term. Did you expect to move this quickly and have so many uh, businesses move into the area? It's great to see so many companies moving in so quickly. We expected to see a few come into the area, but we're really happy that the communities have welcomed 59 companies into the area. And I think with those companies coming in now, we're starting to see their employees move into the area. And quite frankly, we're hearing so many positive things uh, from the people that are here and from the people that are coming. We're glad uh, to be able to build and keep this going and strengthen our local communities and at the same time be able to, uh, to look towards the future with the Innovation Institute and be able to, to look at an education program now and other things to help us grow. Expecting any more? Any more companies coming in on the horizon? Yeah, I think there'll be a few more over 2020, but I think we'll start to see this plateau out now as we have a, a very strong nucleus of companies set up here. I think the energy cluster is maturing, and it will be now to move into the next steps of technology creation and really getting at the business of uh, extending the life of the Bruce Power units. Um, I know there's been a lot of work uh, trying to get these uh, companies to come up to Port Elgin and Song of Shores and Bruce County. As I, I think with all that work's been done, now that you're seeing uh, Williams, the latest, being um, establishing an office here, does, is it now at the point where you, you almost don't have to do anything? Everybody knows who you are and what you do. Everyone wants to be a part of this, uh, part of this thing. You know, it's an exciting time uh, in our history and we have such a positive outlook in terms of Ontario. We are creating and, and building an energy infrastructure here that is really envied around the world. Deep decarbonization is believed to be about 50 grams equivalent per, per megawatt hour, and Ontario has achieved 45 grams equivalent, where others like Germany and California are well above those limits. So as a clean energy leader, we see the companies wanting to come in and participate to help develop those technologies and then not only sell them here within Canada, but export them throughout the world. It's a great economic development engine here for our three counties as well as Ontario and for the companies that are participating in it.